Screw members, they're way too thirsty. Thank you for the two dollars, Naked McGregor man. Sugar definitely, genuinely hates you. If I was you, I'd stop. I don't care. He lives in America. I'm not going to get invited to his birthday party, nor do I want to. Like, I he cheated, so I made a video of him cheating. It's a fact. Like, I'm not trying to be friends with O'Malley. <laughs> I mean, like, he just flat out cheated. I've supported O'Malley the whole way through. Everyone's saying he's fighting cans. I was like, this is normal. He just lost to Vera. This is normal recovery. Howley, I, like, I bigged up Howley and Paver as an opponent. But, like, he cheated against Yan and he shouldn't have won. Like, it's just... What the fuck? Thank you for the $5. I appreciate you, darling boy. Now that Sugar is the number one contender at Bantamweight, it's time for a step up. Resign Lewis Smoker and <laughs> O'Malley won't duck this time. That's not the case. But um, we should be doing uh, O'Malley versus Vera too. Tell me that's not absolutely the perfect fight to make. Come on. Definitely needed to be made. That glove grab was actually appalling. I know. It was tough, dude. I needed to make the video. I respect Guru now more than ever after that video, calling it how it is. It's like, if it was one or two cheats, there's no way I'd make that video. By the way, Gamrot did break his hand. Um, but if it was at one or two moments, I wouldn't have made the video, really. But the moment in the third round genuinely affected the entire fight. You know? Like, it just did. It affected the entire fight. But, um, you know, I have to call it how it is. That's how it be, yo. Thank you for the $2. I appreciate you, Diamond Gurk. This is the C this the CTE fighting champion they should fight. Thanks. Um, go to full violence, Piotr Jan post. Oh, no. Piotr Jan considering leaving the UFC. He feels like the UFC doesn't have his back. Fuck, man. No. No. He's number two in the division, dude. Don't leave the division. Just get extra pay and stay around. That picture of Oliveira as well. All of his uh, teammates and fans cheering in an elevator. And he's just there looking fucking depressed in the background. Dude, that's fucking shit. They need to give him UFC Fight Night Sao Paulo against Dariush in March. That's what they need. Thank you very much for the $2 Polidori's Revenge. Tomorrow they'll come for Darrell Brooks Jr. third. He's done. I don't know who that is. Thank you very much for the $2. Thank you for the free Australian dollars, Oscar Wilde. You think Sugar will acknowledge the cheating on the pod? Here's the thing, yeah. If I go on the pod, I'm not trying to be, oh, come by, ah, you know. Like, have me on the pod. Yeah, what's more entertaining, chat? If I go on the podcast and just be like, oh, you know what? I was so wrong and O'Malley didn't cheat. And it was just such a, like, he actually won the fight, actually. And, uh, you know, people are just hating on him. Or, like, actually being fucking real with it. That's more of an entertaining fucking appearance on a pod. Being real with it and arguing. Points. You know what I mean? Gamrot saying nobody ever. So, Matthias Gamrot, what other lightweights on the roster are you going to defeat after your loss to Benil Dariush? Nobody. Nobody ever. Um, Such a one-sided beef you and O'Malley have. Yeah, just school him. No, I'm joking now. There's no one. He said fuck MMA guru in his last thing, but I don't care, dude. I'm right. He did better than you expected. Yeah, he did. In the later rounds. Early rounds, I was like, yeah, he's hanging up. But um, yeah, later rounds, he, he toughed through it. But the cheating was a big part of that. Like, that's just the truth. He would have got taken down five more times if he didn't cheat. You know, you literally predicted that Yam would kill him in the third. But I literally said that, you know, O'Malley would win round one. O'Malley would be winning round two before getting caught and the tide turning. And he'd lose the third and f get finished. Like, I didn't say he'd destroy him the whole fight like nothing. Mm. Next time you go on O'Malley's podcast, expose that little fool here. Yeah? I'm not going to expose him. I'm just like, just going to be real with what I thought about the decision. That's not being a hater. And him cheating. It was a slight cheat eight times in a row that directly impacted takedowns and ground and pound. Yep. Just a slight eight times in a row. Uh, 